Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I find the area of a triangle? So let's talk about where the area of a triangle formula comes from first. Right here we have a rectangle and it is split in half and it forms two triangles. So a rectangle can be split in half to find, form two triangles. That means that the area of the triangle is going to be half the area of a rectangle, which you can see in the formulas down here. You just do the base times the height like you do with the area of a rectangle. And then you can either multiply that by one half or divide it by two. You just need to take half of the base times the height, which is what this is explaining here. The area of the triangle can be found using these formulas where B is the base and H is the height. And remember the height forms a right or 90 degree angle with the base. So we're still gonna be looking for that 90 degree angle like we were with the rectangles. So let's look at the first one. It says find the area of the figure. This is a triangle and the formula for a triangle is one half BH or BH divided by two. I'm gonna be using mostly this one today, but this one works as well. So area equals base times height divided by two and the base and the height form a right angle. So the base is 10 and the height is 15. So to find the area, I will do the base of 10 times the height of 15 and divide it by two. So that will be 150 divided by two and 150 divided by two is 75. So the area of this triangle is 75 meters squared. Okay, let's look at this next one. It is another triangle. So I'm gonna use area equals BH divided by two. The base and the height form a right angle. So that means the base is six and the height is 13 since they form that right angle. So to find the area, I will do the base of six times 13 and then divide by two. So first thing I need to do is 16 times or sorry, six times 13. And I get 78. So the area of this triangle will be 78 divided by two and half of 78 is 39. So the area of this triangle is 39 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at number four, there's number three. It says find the area of the figure. They gave us a lot of extra information here. Remember to find the area of the triangle, I'm gonna do base times height divided by two. The base and the height form the right angle. So this would be the height of the triangle and this would be the base. Since those are the sides forming, or those are the lengths forming the right angle. 10 and five are extra information. We do not need them to find the area. 14 is the base, four is the height. That is all we need to, for, to find the area. So to find the area, I will do four times 14 divided by two. So first thing I need to do is four times 14. And four times 14 is 56, and then 56 divided by two is 28. So the area of this triangle is 28 inches squared. Okay, number four, it says find the area of the figure. Again, they gave us some extra information here to find the area of a triangle. I'm gonna do base times height divided by two, and my base and my height will form the right angle. This long side over here is extra information. It's not needed to find the area. So to find the area, I will multiply the two sides that form the right angle, which is 4.2 times seven, and then divide it by two. So the first thing I need to do is 4.2 times seven. The area is 29.4 divided by two, and now I just need to figure out what 29.4 divided by two is. The area of this triangle is 14.7 feet squared. 
Okay, number five says find the area of the figure. So they are telling us from the bottom to the top of the triangle is 22 meters. So this is the height and that is perpendicular or is forming a right angle with the three millimeters, which is the base. So the 20 millimeters is extra information. It is not needed to find the area, which is the base times height divided by two. So to find this area, I will do three times 22 divided by two. Three times 22 is 66. So the area will be 66 divided by two. So the area of this triangle is 33 millimeters squared. Okay, number six, I need to find the area by doing the base times the height and then dividing by two. So let's look for the base and the height that form the right angle. That would be 30, which is the base, and then it is perpendicular or forms a right angle with eight, which would be the height of the triangle. So 30 is my base, eight is my height. The other two side lengths are not needed to find the area. So to find the area, I will do 30 times eight divided by two, which would be 240 divided by two and 240 divided by two is 120. So the area of this triangle is 120 centimeters squared. Okay, number seven says, what is the height of the triangle? So we are trying to find a missing height when they gave us the area this time. So let's write down our area of a triangle formula. It is base times height divided by two. I am looking for that missing height. So I'm gonna leave the H as H, but I do have the base. The base is 12 since that is perpendicular with the height. And then they did give me the area, which is 96. So I can replace everything but the height and then solve for the height. So the area was 96. It equals, I know the base, it was 12 times the height, I'm leaving that as H because I don't know what that is, divided by two. So now I just need to solve this equation for H. So the first thing I'm gonna do to get H by itself is undo that dividing by two by multiplying by two. And 96 times two is 192. So we get 192 equals 12 H. And then the last thing I need to do to find H is divide by 12. the missing height would be 16 centimeters. Okay, let's look at number eight. It says the area of the triangle is 64 inches. The height is 16. What is the length of the base? So let's write down our formula. It is area equals base times height divided by two. And let's write down what they gave us. They gave us that the area is 64 inches. So I have A, they gave us that the height is 16 inches, so I have the height, and they are wanting me to find the base. So I'm gonna set up an equation now and I will leave the B as B since that's what I'm looking for. So I replace A, the area with 64, equals, I don't know what B is, times the height of 16 divided by two. And now I just need to solve this equation for B. So the first thing I'm gonna do is multiply by two. And 64 times two is 128. And that equals B times 16. And then the last thing I need to do to get B by itself is undo that times 16 by dividing by 16. And 128 divided by 16 is eight. So the length of the base is eight centimeters. 
or sorry, it was in inches, eight inches. Okay, last one, number nine, it says, Jess has several wooden triangular holiday ornaments that she is going to paint green. If the base of the ornament is three inches and the height is four inches, what is the amount of paint that is needed in square inches for seven ornaments? So she is going to paint this in green. So we need to find the area of one of the triangles and then multiply it by seven since she's going to make seven ornaments. So to find the area of a triangle, we will do base times height divided by two. The base is three and the height is four. So we will do three times four divided by two. Three times four is 12 and 12 divided by two is six. So the area of one of the triangles that she's going to paint is six, but she's gonna paint seven of them. So to find the total area, I will do six times seven, which is 42. So she will paint 42 square inches in those seven ornaments.